So this is question one of the 2019 November standard level mathematics e assessment for MIP. Um, here's the question. It is worth four marks. Select the line equations and place them with the corresponding lines. So on the left, you've got draggable equations, which you drag to the correct point. And so let's have a look at what the possible answer is. So the easiest way to go about this question is, rather than dealing with these equations, is to deal with the actual lines themselves. So let's look at the red line first, okay, and let's work out what its equation is, and hopefully it will match up. So we know the equation of any line is y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient, so let's figure out what the gradient of this line is. So we know the gradient is vertical over horizontal, or you could use the formula um, y2 <coughs> take away y1 over x2 take away x1. And if I pick two points in this line, so I'll pick this one, which is 0, 6, and I'll pick this one, which is 6, 0. So I can see that the line does definitely go through those points. So let's label some of these. Let's say this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So if I substitute these into my formula, I've got 0 minus 6 divided by x2 minus, so this would be x1. So 6 minus 0. So I get minus 6 over 6, which is negative 1. So my equation is y equals negative x, and then the c is, so this is negative 1x, or negative x, the c is the y-intercept, and the y-intercept for this line is 6, so negative x plus 6. So let's have a quick look and see if I can see that anywhere here. Uh, not directly, but let's rearrange a couple of these. So let's take this first one, y minus x equals 6. Now, if I want to make this like this one, so it's y equals, I have to add x to both sides. So I get y equals x plus 6, so that's not correct. y equals x plus 3, that's obviously not correct. Um, y plus x equals 6. Let's try that one. So to get it as y equals, subtract x from both sides. I get y equals negative x plus 6, so 6 minus x, same thing. And that is exactly the same. So <clears throat> our red line is y plus x equals 6. All right, now let's look at the blue line. <clears throat> I'm going to do it the same way. y equals mx plus c. First off, we'll work out the gradient. Pick two points, so this one is the easiest, and this one. So this point is 0, 3. This point is negative 2, 0. I'm going to do my vertical over horizontal, or my use my formula. So 3 take away 0. 3 take away 0 over 0 take away negative 2. So that's 3. 0 take away negative 2, you can put it into the calculator if you want, that's 3 over 2. And so I get y equals 3 over 2x plus, and our y-intercept is, it's going through at 3. Now there's no fractions in any of these, so let's get rid of the fraction here. So to get rid of the fraction, the 2 on the bottom, I'm going to multiply everything by so I've got 2y equals 3x plus 6. Okay, I've multiplied every single term by 2 to get rid of the 2 on the denominator. So I end up with this. And is that anywhere? Um, well, let's have a look. I've got these equations left. And if I rearrange... Let's take this one, this is the next one in line. So 
2y minus 3x equals 6. If I re rearrange it so it's 2y equals, so that means I have to add 3x to both sides. I get 2y equals 6 plus 3x, or I could just write it as 3x plus 6, which is the same as what we've got. So this one corresponds to our blue line. So a little bit of algebraic manipulation there. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so it's just working out equations of straight lines and then putting them in um, different forms. All right, so this is uh, 1b. We've got the line L3 perpendicular to both L1 and L2, and we have to write down the equations of L2 and L3. So if L3 is perpendicular to L2 and L1, that means that L2 is parallel to L1. And if it's parallel, that means they have the same gradient. So the line L2 is going to be y equals, it's got the same gradient as L1 because they're parallel, half x, and the c value, which is the y-intercept, is 4. So L2 is y equals 0.5x plus 4. Now the L3 is perpendicular, and we know that the gradient of perpendicular lines when multiplied together gives us negative 1. So the gradient of L3 multiplied by the gradient of L2 has to equal negative 1. So the gradient of L3 is what we're trying to figure out. We know the gradient of L2, which is the same as L1, or is 0 0.5. So in order to find out the gradient of L3, we divide both sides by 0 0.5. And you can do that in your calculator. And what you get is negative 1 divided by a half is negative 2. Another way you can think of it is if the gradient of L2 is half, 0 0.5, then the gradient of anything perpendicular to it, you flip it, so flip one half becomes 2 over 1, which is 2, and then change the sign. That's just another way you can think of it. So the line for L3 is y equals negative 2x. That makes sense because it's negative, it's slipping downwards, and it's going through plus 7. So that is L3. Okay, so if you have any questions on that, finding equations of straight lines, let me know.